Welcome to another episode of the Notecast. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you have had a very blessed week, and we're going to dive right in. So I was going through my notes a couple days ago before I was writing the script, and I went all the way back down to the year 2021. And I found a sermon that my youth pastor spoke on, and the name of it is Friends Forever. And so I'm going to use, I used some of his uh, points in as inspiration for this episode. So thank you so much to uh, my youth pastor. You are amazing. And if you want to see content from our church, it will be in the description below. So the first verse that we are going to look at is Proverbs 13, verse 20. Those who walk with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. So that's the that's important. We need to make sure that we are looking for friends who know a thing or two about life. So looking for if we're wanting to find a new job, we need to find friends that who are experienced in that area, and they might be older, they might be mentors. Um, if you're looking to ministry, you need to be looking for friends who support that and have wisdom in knowing how to minister to other people. And so anyone that we come in contact with is able to have an influence on us, whether it's negative or positive or somewhere in between, there's going to be some influence that they're going to have on us. And so we need to be able to be wise enough, having the wisdom that God gives us, to be able to understand what things people, what characteristics people have that might be not good for our lives or or things that might be good. We need to have the wisdom to be able to tell who is a good friend. And so there are three main points that we are going to cover today in choosing the right friends. And the first one is this. Before you make friends, analyze the character. This takes time. The second point is, are they someone who encourages you spiritually? And the third point is, well, we're going to get to it at the end because I want you to hear it. So let's go back over the first and second points. So first, we must understand someone's character traits. All right. This usually takes time. You know, you can meet someone new in your workplace or even in a church and you might be like, man, they seem like a nice person. They, they, you know, display care, good character. They, they want to do what's right. Um, they, they're not seeking trouble. They don't have any discord. And those are qualifications that we should look for. So this does take time to see both their weaker and their stronger social attributes, right? I mean, we all have them. This is something I deal with. For example, someone might be good at giving out ideas. Another is good at organization, while another has a a good musical talent or something like that. Each of those examples are good at certain things and not as good at other things. And this is what community is for. Christ wants us to be in unity as the church. And that was discussed in my previous video. If you want to check out my previous video, it will be in the card or it will be in the description below or probably at the end of this video. So be sure to subscribe to uh, my channel. That would be amazing. Iron sharpens iron. Okay. So a man develops the character of his friend. What sets you and them apart is your willingness to work together. And that right there can strengthen a friendship, that can strengthen a a co-worker relationship in a good way where you're able to vouch for this person if something bad is said about them. Um, And you're able to care about their needs because you know that they walk in their integrity. Our second point is, are they someone that encourages you spiritually? Well, the best way to understand this is to observe whether or not they care about your spiritual well-being. They lead you, in their example, closer to God. You'll find this a lot in the church setting, but even in the secular setting. So if someone cares about your well-being, it doesn't mean they're going over the top and being in every single part of your life and being a peeping Tom. No, that's not it, okay? We need to uh, be mindful that people that care about you understand and they respect your privacy and they respect your personal life too. Sometimes if you've been friends with someone for a long time, it's harder uh, for them and it's harder for you to stay out of each other's uh 
personal lives in a sense where it might get uh where there might be tension that arises and that's something that when you get older sometimes that grows uh, as you grow in your relationship with God and as they grow in their relationship with God so those mutual understandings begin to grow and so that's one good thing that we must keep in mind as well in Galatians chapter 6 verse 2 Paul speaks about friends supporting each or the church supporting each other's spiritual growth and he says bear one another's burdens thus fulfilling the law of Christ so we see this in their prayer for any of our concerns and needs in our lives this love in action right supporting in difficult times if you have someone who's willing to reach out and and ask how can I help that right there is a good character trait when you're looking for in friends whether they are a believer or not we need to show care for others in difficult seasons so now we're at our third point which is how are these people speaking into your lives so how strong friendships can be formed kind of depend on what we do and we see this in proverbs chapter 18 verse 19 King Solomon has a lot of, lot of wise things to say. He says, A brother offended is harder to be won than a strong city, and their contentions are like the bars of a strong castle. So whenever we speak ne negativity in someone's life, that offense can cut deeper than what they realize. And so healing up contentions, healing up uh, broken relationships often take a lot of time. And it's something that we need to realize and we need to say, Lord, give me the words to say. Help me to interact with even my closest friends in the right way so I won't bring them down spiritually. Proverbs 18 verse 24 says, A man that has friends must show himself friendly. And there's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Romans 12 15, Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. And be kindly affection to one another with brotherly love. And preferring one another so as friends in the church and as friends outside of the church we need to understand that our influence no matter how small we think it is it's bigger than what we think it is and we need to bear the example of Christ just like I've discussed in my previous videos that is the most important thing to understand about friendship and maintaining good high quality friendships people that are willing to stand with you in adversity people who are willing to help you pray for you and speak into your life and we need to understand and be open to have a wisdom to see these character traits and also to understand what are red flags that we should not be looking for in friendships thank you so much for joining me for this episode of the notecast i hope that you have a blessed remainder of your week and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button God bless.